At the starting of Forrest Gump movie, a man sitting at a bus stop is shown in this movie. Then a lady also sits near him after coming there. Now person named Forrest Gump begins to eat chocolate. He offers her saying, would you like to eat? She does not respond. Forrest Gump says, I can eat one and a half million chocolates as such. Then he observes her white shoes. Forrest Gump likes these shoes. He says, your shoes are very nice. They are surely comfortable. She says, my feet are aching. Then Forrest Gump tells, I have put on many shoes throughout my life. If I think hard enough, I'll recall the first shoes I ever wore. Then the story opens in the flashback where Forrest Gump is a child. He is in the clinic of a doctor. He's being put on the special type of shoes having the fixed steel rods. The doctor tells he has a curvature of the spine while his feet are strong. There is no need to take tension. I will make everything better. As the doctor tells Forrest Gump, I will make everything better. Forrest Gump's mother takes him out. She advises him, never allows anyone to say as he is Beth. Terror than you. Allah could create all children's feet like you if he created everyone the same. But you are unique on your own. Forrest Gump is named to him because of being impressed by his distant relative's name. So he is given the name Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump's mother desires the best education for Forrest Gump. So she takes him in a standardized school. But the principal says, this kid cannot be admitted to this school because of his low IQ level. Forrest Gump's mother says, no, my son will get steady in the school of normal children. The principal further says, in the criteria of admission to our school, Forrest Gump does not fulfill its requirements. You should admit him to the school which is for special children like Forrest Gump. But Forrest Gump's mother convinces the principal later. Now Forrest Gump has got admission to a standardized school. No one offers him a seat on the bus on the very first day. There is a little girl who asks him, would you like to sit here? And she makes a seat for Forrest Gump. This girl's name is Jenny. They both become good friends. Forrest Gump? D.E. his mother only reside in their house because he is an orphan. His mother uses her dwelling as a guest house, making it a source of income. So the visit of people continues in their house. Once, a singer visits their house. Forrest Gump starts dancing awkwardly when that singer is playing a guitar. His walking style is also very strange. After a few days, when they are passing through the market, they watch the same singer on TV who had visited their house as a guest, and he is performing the same dancing steps which were being performed by Forrest Gump before him. People are feeling excited and also liking him. Forrest Gump is telling his story to that lady. Then he has a heart attack. He says it is difficult to be kin of someone. It is perhaps the reason of heart attack. After that, it is shown that Jenny and Forrest Gump are very good friends. They meet, play, go, wander, and always be with each other. One day they are going and three kids come after them who attack Forrest Gump, throwing a stone on his head. While restoring, Rock hits Forrest Gump mostly on the head. This blast pulls him out. Those kids tell Forrest Gump, you're a fool, and more rocks are now being tossed at him. Jenny proclaims, run, Forrest Gump, run. Forrest Gump, run. Forrest Gump casually strolls clumsily, and those kids start chasing him on their bikes. Jenny says after him, run fast. Run fast, Forrest Gump. He starts running, and his speed increases gradually, and his fitted leg braces begin to break. He increases his speed of running gradually. He runs too fast, even his chaser on a bicycle cannot chase him. Forrest Gump knows his ability to run for the first time on this day, as it is the first time that he ran. It is also shown along with it that Jenny resides near Forrest Gump's house. She comes to Forrest Gump's house at night, stealthily saying, There's a dog in her house from which she feels fear. Forrest Gump says that is a mean dog. Jeannie and Forrest Gump have grown older as the time has aged. And the same scene is shown when three children had run throwing stones at Forrest Gump for first time. All children have grown up. Today, they again throw stones at Forrest Gump. They are ridden in a jeep. No, T on a bicycle. And Jenny says, run Forrest Gump. Run Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump reaches the ground while running. Where the football match is being played there, 
a striker is running and taking a ball for making his goal. Then Forrest Gump runs too fast as he leaves that striker behind. He leaves from there while running. The present football coaches ask, who is he? One of the trainers says, his name is Forrest Gump. He is not sensible. But checking the speed of his running, he is hired as a football player by them. Consequently, Forrest Gump also finds an opportunity to enter college. Forrest Gump is unaware of the rules of the football match while playing. But he only knows as to run taking a ball. He starts running as someone gives him a ball. And he does not stop until is caught by someone. He is very speedy and the match is being won because of him. Forrest Gump's reputation touches the peak with the passage of time. He is also hired in the All-American team and he continues to play the matches for five years. He gets the degree of college after playing games for five years. He says it had played football as a result, got a degree. An army officer also visits his college when there was convocation day in his college. And he asks Forrest Gump, have you thought something about your career? Forrest Gump is recruited in army. A bus filled with army officers arrives to pick up Forrest Gump. They are all going for training. Coming into the bus, he says to the driver, I am Forrest Gump. Driver replies, nothing matters as to who are you. Gutter worm. Go and sit in the back seat. He goes to the backside, but no one is willing to give him a seat. He was also not given a seat in the bus in his childhood when he was going to school. Only Jenny had offered him a seat. An awkward and bulky boy with thick lips says to him, You can sit here. Forrest Gump sits there. He tells my name is Benjamin, but people call me Bubba. Forrest Gump says, My name is Forrest Gump and people call me by the same name. Bubba tells him, I wanted to start the work of prawns, but was recruited in the army. My mother cooks prawns. Actually, Bubba always talks about the prawns as it is the precious thing O. F. His life. Forrest Gump tells Jenny, they are sending me to Vietnam. Jenny says to him, promise me, you will run from there if you detect any danger there. You will not try to be a legend. He says, okay, I will do the same. One day I will write a letter to you. And then Jenny leaves from there. And Bubba and Forrest Gump have reached Vietnam. Looking at the sea, Bubba says, I bet that there will be many prawns in it. Let's capture this area. Then we will come here to catch prawns. Bubba has nothing to say except prawns. Bubba says to Forrest Gump, I have a plan as we will buy a boat after returning from here, and we will catch many prawns from the sea. We will have a partnership of 50-50-50. No house will be required for us because we can sleep on the boat, and our caught prawns may be our food. Forrest Gump says it is a good idea. Now they have spent many months in Vietnam. Forrest Gump writes a letter to Jenny on the daily basis. They are attacked when they are going to a forest. They begin to escape because of the large numbering of enemies, and their chance of survival is low, as Jenny had said to Forrest Gump that you will flee from there in case of any dangerous situation. You will not try to be hero. So Forrest Gump runs. He is the champion of the race. He is the champion of the race. He runs as fast as he can when he turns back to look until he reaches a point. There is no one at his backside, even at a distance. Thinking about Bubba, he returns back to take Bubba while running, but does not find him. But he finds one of the soldiers like them who is wounded. Lifting him up, he takes him to the bank of a stream. And he again returns to search Bubba, but of no use. He again finds another wounded soldier who is also taken by him at the bank of stream. He returns back many times and brings all soldiers there, saving them. Now he has to search Bubba. Reaching there, he finds their wounded lieutenant, Dan. He does not want to retreat but face the opponent. But Forrest Gump forcefully leaves him at the bank of the river. Forrest Gump is still returning back to search Bubba while not accepting his defeat. Then Lieutenant Dan says, Don't go there because there are opponents who are exploding bombs. In spite of this, Forrest Gump goes there and finds Bubba. Bubba has been shot. He takes him back, but Bubba does not survive. Throughout this journey, Forrest Gump had also a gunshot on his body. Then it is shown that all army officers are admitted to the hospital. All are injured, but Forrest Gump is ecstatic. When he arrives, an army officer informs him that he has been awarded the Medal of Honor because he had saved a large number of people. 
Now he must receive a medal from the president. Jenny then appears in the distance and calls out, Forrest. Forrest is overjoyed to see Jenny and rushes over to her as she exits the stage. He embraces her. Then they have a long conversation. Jenny tells him about her whole journey of hers, which things have been done by her. Forrest Gump has received the Medal of Honor. He tells about Vietnam. He hands it over to Jenny, saying, I did what you wanted me to do. Jenny then takes him to meet some of his friends. There is a special friend of Jenny among them. She flees with that friend, embracing Forrest Gump. Jenny again went far from Forrest Gump.